Hello everyone, welcome to Math Corner. In this video, we will determine the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. The formula in finding the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. In this formula, a sub n is the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, d is the common difference of an arithmetic sequence. Example number 1. What is the 21st term of the arithmetic sequence 4, 10, 16, 22, and so on? Our first step in solving this problem is to determine all the given values. Since we are looking for the 21st term, that is denoted by a sub 21. 4 is our first term or a sub 1. n is equal to 21. d is equal to 6. This is our formula in solving for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence and we will substitute all the given values to our formula. 4 goes to a sub 1, 21 to n, 6 to d. After substitution, we have this equation. a sub 21 is equal to 4 plus quantity 21 minus 1 times 6. After substitution, let us solve. 21 minus 1 is equal to 20. Our equation becomes a sub 21 is equal to 4 plus 20 times 6. 20 times 6 is equal to 120 and it becomes a sub 21 is equal to 4 plus 120. 4 plus 120 is 124 and that is our 21st term of the arithmetic sequence 4, 10, 16, and 22. Example number 2. The first term of the arithmetic sequence is 7, and the common difference is equal to 3. What is the 24th term? Again, let us find all the given values. Since we are looking for the 24th term, that is a sub 24. 7 is our first term n is equal to 24, the common difference is equal to 3. Let us substitute all these given values to our formula. 7 goes to a sub 1, 24 to n, 3 to d. After substitution, we have a sub 24 is equal to 7 plus quantity 24 minus 1 times 3. 24 minus 1 is 23. So we have a sub 24 is equal to 7 plus 23 times 3. 23 times 3 is 69. So we have a sub 24 is equal to 7 plus 69. 7 plus 69 is equal to 76. And that is the 24th term of our arithmetic sequence. Example number 3. The first and sixth terms of an arithmetic sequence are 4 and 19 respectively. What is the 26th term? a sub 26 is our missing term. 4 is our first term. 19 is our sixth term. n is equal to 26. If you will notice, there is no common difference given. The common difference is unknown. So our first step in solving this problem is to solve for the common difference first. To solve for the common difference, we will be using the same formula. Since we have two non-consecutive terms given, a sub 1 and a sub 6, we will be using a sub 6, the higher term, as our a sub n. We have a sub 6 is equal to a sub 1, plus quantity 6 minus 1 times d. We use 6 as the value of n because of a sub 6. After this, we will substitute 19 to a sub 6, 4 to a sub 1, and we can now solve for the common difference. After substitution, we have 19 is equal to 4 plus quantity 6 minus 1 times d. 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. We have 19 is equal to 4 plus 5d. We need to isolate 5d, 
So we have to remove 4 by adding negative 4 to both sides of the equation. 19 plus negative 4 is equal to 4 plus negative 4 plus 5D. 19 plus negative 4 is 15. 4 plus negative 4 is 0. We have 15 is equal to 0 plus 5D. 0 plus 5D is equal to 5D. So we have 15 is equal to 5D. And to isolate D, we have to divide 5 to both sides of the equation. 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. 5D divided by 5 is equal to D. Therefore, the common difference is equal to 3. There is another way in solving for the common difference. And this is the shorter way. We will be using the two non-consecutive terms of the arithmetic sequence. And to solve for the common difference, we will just subtract the sixth term and the first term. And then we will divide this by 6 minus 1. Because 19 is the sixth term and 4 is the first term. 19 minus 4 is equal to 15. Divided by 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. And the common difference is equal to 3. After solving for the common difference, let us now solve for the 26th term. Again, this is our formula. And we will substitute 4 to a sub 1, 26 to n, 3 to d. After substitution, we have a sub 26 is equal to 4 plus quantity 26 minus 1 times 3. 26 minus 1 is 25. We have a sub 26 is equal to 4 plus 25 times 3. 25 times 3 is 75. We have a sub 26 is equal to 4 plus 75. 4 plus 75 is 79. And that is the 26th term of our arithmetic sequence. Last example, example number 4. What is the 41st term of the arithmetic sequence if its 7th and 10th terms are 17 and 47 respectively? In our problem, a sub 41 is the missing term. a sub 7 is equal to 17. a sub 10 is equal to 47. n is equal to 41. Again, in this problem, there is no common difference given. So our first step is by solving the common difference and let us do that by using the shorter way. The common difference is equal to 47 minus 17 divided by 10 minus 7. 47 is the 10th term, 17 is the 7th term. 47 minus 17 is equal to 30. 10 minus 7 is equal to 3. 30 divided by 3 is equal to 10. Our common difference is equal to 10. After solving for that, let us now solve for the 41st term. In our given, if you will notice, there is no first term or a sub 1. Instead of using a sub 1, we will be using a sub 7 because of the two non-consecutive terms given, a sub 7 is the lower term. And instead of n minus 1, we will be using n minus 7. Our formula becomes a sub n is equal to a sub 7 plus quantity n minus 7 times d. After that, we will substitute 17 to a sub 7, 41 to n, 10 to d. After substitution, it becomes a sub 41 is equal to 17 plus quantity 41 minus 7 times 10. 41 minus 7 is equal to 34. We have a sub 41 is equal to 17 plus 34 times 10. 34 times 10 is equal to 340. And we have a sub 41 is equal to 17 plus 340. And that is equal to 357. And that is the 41st term of our arithmetic sequence. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.